I have over the drug math tutorial. In lesson three, I introduced you to the master formula. And then in lesson four, we went over some examples. So now let's go over a few more. Now you're ordered to administer 250 milliliters of fluid over two hours, and you have a mini drip to use. Okay, this is a sort of interesting desired dose because it's just the fluid bolus. You're not giving any milligrams or any micrograms. So in this dose, you're not really gonna need a concentration. But since it's 250 milliliters over two hours, we will need time. So we put that two hours in the time component, but you gotta put it in the form of minutes. So here's the setup. You're gonna put 250 milliliters as your desired dose, times 60 drops per milliliter, over 120 minutes. So we're not using concentration. Let me cross that out on the bottom here so you can see, and we're not using the patient's weight since this is not a weight-based dose. So your answer is gonna end up in drops per minute because we're gonna cross out milliliters over here and over here because it's there twice. And we'll have an answer in drops per minute, which is kind of beneficial because it's the only way we could really figure out how to give fluid over time. And drops per minute and milliliters per hour actually end up being the same thing if you're using a 60 drop set. So 250 times 60 over 20 is what we're left with. You can cross out those zero on top and a zero on the bottom. You're left, left with uh, 250 times 6 over 12. Since 12 and 6 are both divisible by 6, we can go ahead and divide those, simplify a little bit. And you're left with 250 times 1 over 2. Now, I went a little quick there. It, go back. All I did was, since I was left with 250 times 6 over 12, I realized that the 6 and the 12 are both divisible by 6. You can divide both of those numbers separately and you're left with one and two, so 250 times one over two. That simply becomes 125 times one over one, which will simply become 125 drops per minute. Okay, very, very simple dose to do. All right, here's another one. You've been ordered to administer 150 milligrams of amiodarone in a 100 cc bag of D5W over 10 minutes for a patient with stable runs of VTAC you have a 10 drop mil per milliliter solution set to use. Now this dose gets a lot of people when they're trying to plug it into the master formula. All right, your desired dose is 150 milligrams, your solution set is 10 drops per milliliter, and your concentration is gonna be 150 milligrams per 100 milliliters because that amiodarone is in a 100 ml bag. And then your time component is going to be 10 minutes because you want to give this medication over 10 minutes. Again, it's not a weight-based drug, so we won't need the weight component of the master formula. We can cross that out. All right, so your setup is 150 milligrams times 10 drops per milliliter over 150 milligrams per 100 milliliters times 10 minutes. We reduce our concentration to 1 ml, you end up with 1.5 milligrams per milliliter. All we did was divide both sides by 100. You get rid of all your doubles and you're left with drops per minute, 150 times 10 over 1.5 times 10. Since 10 and 10 are both divisible by 10, we can kind of just divide both of those out and you're left with 1 over 1. So your answer is going to be 150 over 1.5 and 150 divided by 1.5 is simply 100 drops per minute. All right, so that'll be your answer. And if you're ever administering 150 milligrams of amiodarone in a bag of D5W over 10 minutes using a 10 drop set, your answer will always be 100 drops per minute because it is not a weight-based dose, so it's not gonna change depending on the patient. Okay, so that's the end of this tutorial. In the future, I will be uh, doing different drug calculations uh, such as a dopamine drug calculation and a lot of the RSI drug calculations, and I'll post those videos as they arise. Please hit like and subscribe to the videos. I'll see you next time.